Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing something a bit interesting. I kind of came across it was, um, it was a bit of a speed bump in a project I was doing, and I thought you guys might just like to know how to do it. And that is how to get the URL of a of a website. So we're going to use a, a random website or a useless website. Um, and all this does is it, yeah, you yeah, click on it, and really just, it takes you to different websites and does random stuff. There you go. I don't even, I don't even know what this is. So, I just found it on the web, I just searched up for a useless website, and I found one. So, it's beautiful. So, what we're going to do is open um, the uselessweb.com in a new browser, uh, click this, this bit will just grab this URL and then put it into Notepad. So let's get right into it. Okay, so first of all, as I said, we need an open browser. I'm just going to use a sequence, which is the default for a UI path. And I'm going to import imp, input uh, this web web page into your Okay, so that has no error marks. We are clear to go at the moment. It just opens this website. Now we need to have a click function. Click. My inability to spell click says how tired I am right now. Indicate element. This element. Now I will show you um, what why I'm, I'm showing you this. So right now we'll just click in. Interesting, because every time I, I click on it, I see a CMU page. Now this is just mangoes or mangoes. Um, so it's going to get up here. So yeah, so I'll show you why it's important. So if you have go into Google Docs or something and you want and you want um, the URL to that uh, to that. To that document, um, then, and you want to put that uh, URL in the signer, then you just take that from the Google top doc URL and put it in Asana or Trello or something, some some other something else, just wherever you want it. Um, and there's no like get URL or something. Get URL. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Hmm. So now that we've clicked, now we need to do another click. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. And uh, this is the problem I kind of ran into. Uh, where when you want to click the URL, where because when you usually go into it here. You can just click there and you can copy and paste that into wherever. But with UiPath, you can't actually do that because of the way the uh, UiPath internet selector is works. So what we're ha going to have to do is we do something I like to call a uh, drag. So you click here, you drag across, and skiddly douche. Hooray! Um, we don't need any key modifiers or anything, anything silly. No. We do uh, then need to go copy selected text. Now, I'm not sure if you've played with this one before, but you don't need to because you just put it in. You might want like, the retrieval, the retrievement. Or the or send a, send Windows message or a timeout um, specifies the amount of time in milliseconds to wait for the activity to run before the error is thrown. So if you can't copy the selected text, it's going to go stop right there. Um, so so you can put a result, but it will it will copy it to the 
clipboard as well, but we are going to put a result in here, so control K to set a variable text. Beautiful, beautiful variable. Now. So good. And uh, I was kind of worrying that my computer froze there, but don't be worried anymore. So now it's copied that we're wanting to open an application notepad. Like an application. application. Notepad. Go back into your class. And you know what I like to do? I always like to, just in case, maximize finger. Ah, uh, finger. So, whew, got to put it up here. So maximize the the window so just the click is more accurate. Where's my? Oops, I deleted something I wasn't supposed to. So I've got the window maximize window in there. We got the that and type. So in Notepad you can either send a hotkey, uh, which is pretty easy. I'll, I'll show you that. Send um, and that'll be like Control V, and then you can indicate where you want the hotkey to be sent to. Um, so so you could do that, but I'm not going to going to do the type into into Notepad. Oh, internet's pretty slow, and we're gonna do that variable we created before, which is text. Uh, you click out, and that won't have any stuff. Yep. Okay. Let's let's run it. Let's see see where we go. I'm not sure why, but each time I, uh, I've, you know, I, 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 I'm doing open browser, I usually forget to, you know, put it as Chrome because Chrome and IE are very different, and you need a different extension on either of those. So this is the Chrome is what I want. The public demand goals. That is perfection, guys. That is the URL we wanted. Let's go. So, as you can see, uh, the URL was Republic the Mangoes. Dot fur. And every t on the website, I'm not sure if you guys have put in a website before, but you always put a, a forward slash after the URL. Guess what? It's done here in Notepad where we wanted it to put it. HTTP that thing www.republicdomangos.fur with that front slash. That's how you do it, guys. I'm Dr. UiPath. This has been another video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe. Share the video if you have to. Uh, comment down below to see what you guys want. If you guys enjoyed the video and your feedback on the video, I really want to know. If, what you think about these video guys and what you want to see so see you guys later bye